Hello YouTube, that's the 781 here. Um, got another cool tool to show you. Um, so, if you are like me, you use a utility knife almost every day, all the time. Um, and you also are familiar with a regular straight edge scraper. Each one, this can do this job, but this can't do this job. So it uh, brings me to the subject of today's video. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Uh, tough built scraper utility knife. So what's so special about it? So open it up. Yeah, it's nice, nice comfortable grip. Nothing too, nothing too flashy. Push a little further. Bam! <laughs> I still think that's the coolest thing. Oh, it is a flip scraper. Um, it looks a little flimsy like this. Let me tell you. It's solid in there. This is all, um, I don't want to say aluminum. I'm sure it's like a pot metal. But it stands up. I have a couple friends of mine that use it. Actually, I mean, they're carpenters. And uh, they said it doesn't get jammed. You know, it's full of sawdust. Um, all sorts of putty dust. And they haven't had it fail. Also has a nice little pry bar uh, at the end for opening paint cans. And, you know, bucket of spackle, etc. So, what are the drawbacks? First off, so many moving parts that I'm still skeptical. But the one that's sort of, you know, hits you right in the eye is you push down this orange button. I think you have to have it all the way. Yeah, forward. So push down the button, and that's the blade. Proprietary. At least I think it is. Um... It needs to have that little cutout in it in order to, uh, you know, to do its trick. And they can be bought. Can't, can't look through the camera and put a blade back in. I'm going to cut myself. Uh, they can be bought. It's a 30-pack, uh, 11 bucks. I got that through Amazon. It's, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's neat. Don't get me wrong. It's, um... I just can't stop playing with it, to be to be honest with you. I don't know where these are going to be um, as far as, like, withstanding the test of time and um, on-the-job use. But I used it the other day. It's, it's a nice, nice in-the-hand feel scraper. And uh, I can't get it to, to mess up. You know, I've, I've been flipping it around. I dropped it a couple times. It seems complicated, but it's it's really not. So I'm not uh, I'm not afraid that this thing is going to turn into another tchotchke piece of junk. I just hope it doesn't. <laughs> anyway, nice short one again for you guys today, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.